Hello, my name is Tom Gillespie. My role here at Exagrid is a Director of Application Interoperability, so responsible for the interoperability with all the backup, various backup partners, and also a role within product management here at Exagrid. I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to drill into a particular feature of Veeam's V10 release. V10 is chock full of lots of additional capabilities, NAS support, uh, cloud tier copy mode, various um, improvements and uh, new features. But I wanted to drill in on one today associated with how long-term retention is created by Veeam on various backup, applica uh, various backup targets. Of course, I'm going to be focusing on keeping those backups on an Exagrid target today. Exagrid is particularly well suited for keeping long-term retention because of its deduplication and its cost effectiveness. And so compared to keeping all of your backups on uh, non-deduplicated storage for long-term retention, weeklies, monthlies, yearlies, Exagrid is a very cost-effective solution. And the way Veeam creates that long-term retention, again, has uh, changed and been improved in Veeam 10, V10, and that's what I wanted to drill into today. So I'm going to start with uh, typical Veeam backup and replication environment, and then it's been configured to work with an Exagrid scale out hyperconverged backup storage target solution where an exagrid will have an exagrid solution will have multiple storage components each one with not only the storage involved but also the resources compute networking in order to do the task of deduplication each one of these exagrid servers is made visible to veeam through a, a, a an extent being configured for each one. I'll just draw these as X's. And then in the Veeam backup and recovery uh, configuration, all of these are put together into a large scale out backup repository, which allows Veeam to make the decision about which Exagrid storage appliance a particular backup is sent to, relieving you of having to figure out which backup goes where, Veeam takes care of that, all courtesy of the scale out backup and repository configuration. And then you have a Veeam job that's been configured, You're gonna have multiples of these, and the Veeam, uh, the Veeam backup job is being sent to the Sober. And then as backups start to progress, you're gonna have a number of uh, daily backups, you're gonna have weekly backups, and et cetera on through a number of monthlies that you're keeping, and then yearlies that you're keeping. And each one of these backups is created in a grandfather, father, son typical uh, scenario managed by Veeam through the Veeam job and then finally onto the Exagrid. In versions of Veeam prior to V10, these uh, longer term retention and the grandfather, father, son was accomplished by creating a copy job that was associated through this configuration of the first job, job A. And it was the actual copy job that would run and would make literally copies of the backups at the key points in order to give you weeklies and monthlies and yearlies. Making a whole copy of the backup really didn't cost any, or didn't uh, consume any additional storage on the exagrid because of the deduplication. Since it was a copy, that took very, very little capacity here. But it was uh, an operation that had to be scheduled or that Veeam had to manage that took time to complete, et cetera. And so, uh, courtesy of V10, in the new um, ability, I'm not gonna do a clear all. We're able to, I'm just going to move these sort of out of the way so we can uh, take a look at how it's a little bit different in V10, where um, actually we don't have a copy job anymore. And so now this job itself is able to be specified with the various long-term retention configuration. And so this job now has the grandfather, father, son specification as part of it. And so when uh, a backup is sitting there, let's say a particular weekly backup is sitting there within the storage configuration weekly, 
and it's time to delete this according to how many weeks I am keeping, Veeam will look at this and say, oh, no, but I need to keep a number of monthlies or I need to keep a number of yearlies. And so it will simply preserve this backup so that you'll build up that grandfather, father, son, all of those um, incrementals and the weeklies, again, the monthlies and the yearlies, all of those will be built up and managed by Veeam just simply by keeping them or not keeping them selectively in the uh, exagrid storage. So you get the benefit of continuing benefit of the backup application, managing that all important grandfather, father, son, longer retention, which is um, still going to require deduplication just because of the number of copies that are kept here. But you have the benefit of a, more, of a uh, simpler setup, less things to configure, less jobs to run. Being managing the GFS right out of the job is one of the exciting features in Beam 10. Thank you. Thank you.